Hi there, in this video we will learn that how the, an inverse of a matrix can be found. We start with a simple example of a matrix which is 2 into 2 in terms of its order and we are going to find its inverse. It is represented with the help of capital A and when we have uh, a matrix of 2 into 2 order the formula definitely will remain the same that is 1 over determinant of A into a joint of A. But the ease is that we have this uh, matrix which is adjoint and it can be easily found simply by doing a small uh, shuffling and uh, interchange and that will allow us to uh, get the adjoint of A. And that is very simple in this uh, pr uh, principal diagonal what we will do is that we will change their places. So here minus 10 and 2 are appearing instead of 2 and minus 10. Secondly, we'll change the signs and uh, the signs have been changed. Now it is minus and this is plus. However, 4 will remain as it was before in terms of magnitude. The places of uh, terms in the principal diagonal, they have changed. Now we can find the A, a determinant and uh, A determinant is found here. The original matrix was 2 into minus 10 minus 4 into minus 4. So here it is. The answer of it is minus 4 so it appears here and this adjoint matrix appears here. And then we find the A inverse. And then we have the uh, answer of it. Uh, that definitely that will be simply the calculation and it will be found but before we go there the formula has been formulated here a inverse and that is equal to this that is the determinant in the determ uh, denominator and the adjoint of a this is another example you can also pause the video here and see that how we have found it just like we did it here in the previous example. This is another example, the determinant, the joint and then division and simplification. Another example is here, so th these are good examples to rehearse. Now an interesting finding is there and that is that we do uh, multiplication between an original matrix and its inverse, it is going to give us a certain matrix which is known as identity matrix. Let us see that how this can happen. We are considering the inverse of a matrix and if this is the original matrix, this will be the A inverse, 1 over A determinant and a joint of A. And if we multiply these two uh, matrices, that is A into A bar, we will get the identity matrix. Uh, the property of the identity matrix is that that it has a um, value of 1 in the principal diagonal and value of 0 will appear in the secondary diagonal. This is an identity matrix and it's actually a square matrix because uh, order is uh, having equality of rows and the columns. 2 rows, 2 columns, 3 rows, 3 columns and so on. And uh, main diagonal has 1's and all other elements are 0. For example, this is the uh, instance that we just saw here, I2 where 2 is used to show the order 2 into 2, writing 2 once because it's a square matrix, so rows and columns both will be equal to 2. Then we have I3 in which the order is 3 into 3 and you can see the diagonal is again having the value of 1 in all of the places. Then we have I4. It should be I4, it should not be I3, so apology for this typographic mistake. I4 is equal to this, 1, 1, 1, 1, so 1 is appearing in the principal diagonal and the remaining values are 0, just like we observed in the definition. So here we are assuming this um, numerical example. This is uh, A and it is in inverse, you know, it would be equal to 1 over A determinant into A adjoint. So this is the solution. This is actually the A inverse. Now I can multiply this A with A inverse and that will give me the identity matrix. Because these are uh, themselves 2 into 2 order matrices, 
the resultant identity matrix will be equal to this. So here we are A into A inverse. You can do this simply, uh, the simple multiplication by pausing the video and you see the answer will be equal to the identity matrix of 2 into 2 order. So it is quite synonymous to what we do in algebra where if we multiply x with 1 over x the answer will be equal to 1. So it's a kind of similar situation but this, these are in the matrices. So this was the um, proof that if original matrix is multiplied with its inverse the answer will be equal to identity matrix. These were a few examples of finding inverse, the general formula, another numerical and finally we are capable of finding the inverse of a matrix and we also know about the identity matrix. Thank you.